hey, you, you take the clues as they, as they come. You know, Amelia, again, last time I'll say it. No, it's not the last time I'll say it. Fish comes up, smokes her indicator downstream around the corner. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to go with the big foam thing. And it wasn't until right there, 100 yards downstream, that I finally had a little pocket. And I popped this thing there and twitch, twitch. Just like on a cutthroat trout, trout uh, river. Just, you know, anything to get the fish's attention to come up in fast, turbulent water. Not ripping, twitching, just pop, 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 stop. And that rainbow came, a gorgeous fish. Next pocket up, gorgeous brown. And then it was just, you know what, we gotta work all this stuff. And, uh, you know, catch five fish, move two other little guys right here to end it. But you just don't know when your day's gonna turn on a dime. And, you know, I don't know how long we'll stay out here today, but the day just, it just turned. Just liggity split, just because of paying attention to something so simple. And that's really cool. Alrighty, prospecting in amongst the boulders. Only targeting shallower stuff because with the big push of water like this, that's the only place these fish are gonna come up because there's nothing happening for bugs. So I'm just gonna prospect. Would be a good streamer day if a guy was so inclined. But let's face it, I'm using a big foam thingy. So I'm just using a, a floaty streamer essentially. No great shakes on casts because I can't see far anyway. But I'm just trying to pick off the edge of the seams and the rocks that I can see. Anything or nothing could happen. Nothing is part of anything. Always got to remember that. I like to give it a little skitter twitch. Twitch and skitter. Not huge skitters, just enough. Just to pulse the water. Drop, plop, twitch, twitch, stop. Golden stones have just begun, so you just don't know. Even on a cloudy, cold day like this, doesn't mean that the fish aren't gonna eat them. If they're used to seeing big stuff on the surface, why wouldn't they keep looking up? Just twitching it. Not having a lot of luck with nymphs today getting a few fish but you know as soon as that one 15 inch brown hit amelia's indicator it was like yeah game on get the big foam going anywhere in these rocks you just don't know you don't know who's going to be looking up right along those rocks out there maybe something right in front of me if we're fishing cuts and on the ram maybe not so much there on this river right on the edge just outside of those rocks you never know right in here just a little twitch twitch pop and stop man that's hard to look into Whew. gotta smack it get their attention twitch it here comes the rain again there we go Feed those little seam lines. Come on now. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly, feed those little seam lines for sure. Just awesome. That guy just absolutely smoked it when he came up. Stop, plop, twitch, stop, boof. <laughs> Looked like a good fish. The challenge is gonna be, at what point do you fold it to try to bring them in here? Right in here, come on now. So again, just because it's cold and cloudy and it's not a stone fly day. You know, if those fish have been on stones at all, and I've seen quite a few shucks today, haven't seen any adults because it's not a flying day for stones, but hey, you gotta try it anyway, especially because it's so dark. They're not moving. There's no mayflies bringing them up. There's nothing to bring these fish up whatsoever. But if they've recently been interested in coming up, why not feeding the big stuff? And like I say, as soon as it's that, that fish hit Amelia's indicator, it was like, you know what? Maybe, just maybe, they might want to come up. And sure as anything, hey, that's a good fish. Sure as anything, that fish, very first fish downstream took 
And I was like, that's something. And as soon as I saw these rocks, it was like, yeah, you gotta, you gotta go at those with that big foam thing. He doesn't want to fold at all. And it is a he. There's the fold in the net. Yeah. Gorgeous male. Oh, this rock is covered in Sally shucks. That's awesome. Cold day, you wouldn't have thought, but if they're out and they've thought about doing it at all, yep. here we are. Here we are. That's a really nice solid fish, to be honest with you. Yeah, right in the corner of the jaw. Nice little male, eh? 20 or 21? Beauty. Wicked. Took the foam. I'm just going to pop it, love. Okay. And we'll get it going. Okay. Here we go. Beauty. Wicked. Yeah, man. No, that's just it. So, and that's just it, as I was saying. Uh, downstream, as I was saying, Amelia had a fish come up and gobble gobbled it on her indicator. It's like, you know what? Things, watch my rod tip. Things haven't been great any which way. So, dry dropper, deep nymphing. Got a few fish, don't get us wrong. But as soon as that fish came and smoked your indicator, it was like, hey, wait a second, time a big foam. And as soon as I got to the first pocket after that, smack gorgeous rainbow just at my feet in this just bucket it was like gorgeous fish and as i come up here i was like okay i gotta get along these rocks stick to the plan and all i have is this plate of silver out front of me and i said just hit the seam just on the outside of the rocks smack it pop pop smack it pop pop and you know there's a pillow just on the upside of that rock that i that i got the fish on smack it pop pop stop whoop and that's really cool so we now have quite a lineup of rocks ahead of us along this shoreline you know you got to be hopeful of course now you're going oh there's a rainbow there's a brown there's gonna be 10 more that might be it but you got to try and that's the cool thing about you know it's stonefly season a fish comes up and smacks uh, an indicator okay change things up and away we go okay so we're gonna stick to the plan get up here just gonna work now it's getting a little lighter so you can actually see color again yeah, that's <laughs> i was completely black and white when i caught that fish yeah. you know it was just absolute crazy so i'm gonna stick to the plan i'm actually gonna go a little further out smack smack twitch <laughs> just amazing seams in here hey there's lots of great such great seams you know and we know that the broken rock is perfect trout water underneath. Oh yeah. Love the broken rock. I love the boulders. I love, yeah. And I'm only right here right now because there might be somebody just on the pillow of these boulders here. So I'm just working my way around them and just short line twitch, twitch, twitch. I just caught that fish right there. So the odds of two fish living there, yeah, nah. But you just want to be in amongst it short line long leader and just walk it through this stuff you just don't know when he's going to come up and you just want to work sh short so that you can reach over most things all these boulders all these seams you can just reach over and through doesn't have to be perfect sexy casting god this is me we're talking about this is just you know you grow up fishing and you just get you, you learn real quick just get the damn thing on the water right right in this stuff you don't know when there's a 24 inch fish sitting right there you just don't oh finally another pmd you haven't seen one for about an hour and a half right in this stuff just get it in there feed the feed the fly just have a go that's the best part about this stuff just have a go Maybe not the best casts, so there's way better fishermen than I am out there, right along that stuff, right? You don't know what rock they're, what rock they're pillowing on. Smack it, twitch it, smack it, twitch it, twitch it. Come on now. Again, though, I don't know if I'm going to catch anything in that heavy water out. The, the fish that are going to eat this are going to be a little closer to shore. So we're going to focus on that water. Now I can get up here. That's all flat rock in front of me. So you don't really expect a lot from that stuff. But that broken stuff out there, maybe the edge of one of those. You just don't know. 
How about this seam right here? A little twitchy twitchy. Skitter skitter. Jeez, eh? That's two big mouths I've seen come up to this thing now. Managed to catch them both. And it's just like, really, that's happening? It's like, ooh. Right on the edge of that stuff. Oh, there's another fish around here that's gonna eat this. I just feel it. <laughs> come on now. Really cool broken rock. Just gonna start right behind it. Smack. And Twitch, <laughs> turning this into a bass tournament, you know? Right up and out there, behind that boulder. Give it a Twitch, nobody. A couple steps. I'm gonna do a bit of a reach around on this rock right here. Cast it, smack it, see if he comes up. And you hear me take line out, that's a mistake actually. I'd rather walk into position than take out any more line in this broken boulder water. Casting further in boulders is not the way to go. So I'll just do one more. I'm gonna reel a couple feet of that back in, and then we're gonna move again here. Always move your feet. Always move your feet in this stuff. This is not a place for long casts. Okay, just get your feet right there. Smack it. Twitch, twitch, twitch. That's the funniest part about this. All day, all day we're like, what's gonna happen? They're not eating deep nymphs. They're not doing this, they're not doing that. We got a couple on foam and now it's like every fish is supposed to come up and eat it. That's the ha ha. Oh, there he is. I'll take that one. That little, that little brownie just absolutely smoked it. What are the odds? That's awesome. Okay, so there you go. Wee, poofa. Wicked. What about another one just in this seam here? Just smack, twitch, stop. Pop, stop. Pop, stop. Pop, pop. You know, it's just, <laughs> it's fun is what it is. Smack it on the pillow of that boulder. Twitch it. Twitch it, twitch it. You want them to come and eat it, but there's got to be somebody there. Funny thing is, if you want a fish to eat it, he's got to be there, right? Ah, oh, it's exciting. It's the anticipation is what is so much fun. You know, just on those seams, that broken rock, those big submerged boulders, you know what's living down there. And when's he gonna come up and eat it? <laughs> All sorts of rod action, but there's also stops built in, so you're not just dragging the entire thing. Let's see if somebody's in here. If not, pick it up, up, pause, smack right off the edge of that rock. Twitch it. Cheapers. I love, I love when days turn like this where it's like, well, what else? Could, oh, oh, geez, I missed that one. I love it when these days turn like this. There we go. Come on now. Come up again, bud. Miss that take. I actually missed that one. He slashed so hard. That was crazy. I'm gonna get up just a bit so I can see. I'm having a hard time seeing my fly in this choppy water on that silver sheen. Now I got it. I missed that fish because I couldn't see. And I'm just gonna step up. I'm just gonna work the edge of this stuff right here. And because it's so choppy and glary, I'm gonna go smack. Try to see it, there we go, I got it. Just, just in there. Stick with it. And then just give it a good smack so you can see the dang thing. Twitch it, skitter it. Fire it just a little bit over. It's all sorts of broken rock in here so you just don't know. You can't dismiss anything. They could be pillow surfers anywhere. Right in that. Right in there, come on. There he is, yes. Hi. Right in that stuff, like I said, you gotta just do it. You just gotta go for it. Yes. Woo! That's a brown, eh? Right on, man. That's awesome. Woo! That's yeah. cool, Dave. <laughs> had to be another one. Oh, there, there had to be. You know? Yeah. Fun fish. What's this fact? Legity split. You do the changeover, and that's five fish along this edge here and a hunt just a hundred yards. 
all because a fish attacked Amelia's indicator. Isn't that amazing? If that You're fish, welcome. <laughs> yeah, if that fish hadn't eaten your indicator, yeah, we'd still be nymphing. No kidding. Isn't that funny? <laughs> that's that's awesome. There she is. Wicked, eh? Yeah, yeah. Awesome. There we go. Wicked. Okay, well, I think I got one more little spot to hit. Now, there's hardly ever two fish like that in a spot, but let's smack it. Let's see if anybody else is sitting there. I doubt it. It doesn't work like that. Well, you never know. It might work like that, you know? <laughs> Cutthroat trout, yes. Brownies, eh. Just barely see that thing. Crazy. Okay, there's tight real estate up ahead here. Tight, tight, tight. Okay, let's just work it out there. You just don't, no, oh, there he is. Yeah, just dance it in that, Perfect. in between the rocks. Just dancing it in there. Wicked. <laughs> Woo! Come on, little buddy. Yeah, I'm just smacking and twitching. It's like fishing the ram for cutthroat. You know? You got that? Yeah, sure. Okay, here we go, a little button. There we go. Wicked. No, just just trying to work the stuff in between the rocks. And it's just go for it, you know? Nothing big, but nothing less fun. Nothing more fun, I should say. Just out in that stuff even. You know, because there's a pillow mid-river right, right where all these rocks are. You don't know. I just proved that you don't know. So smack it. There's a soft little spot out there. You just could be working it right along the edge of that, right off those rocks. You don't know, rod tip high and twitch it, skitter it. Who cares? Just get it out there. One false cast, pop it. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> okay, so you, yeah, I'll take this over a mayfly hatch right now. Okay, right in this stuff. Come on. Boy, that's, that's good looking water up in here. Up, and you see this silver sheen that you're looking at. Okay, so this is where, with this silver sheen right here, pick your spot to land it and smack it. Now you sort of see it. It's right along the edge, right along the seam there. Jeepers. Right out here, a little further. Where is that? I don't know, it's gonna to have to attack that in order for me to see the see the take. <laughs> yeah, twitch it, twitch it, twitch it, skitter it. Oh, there he was. Yeah, about 10 inches or so, but hey, he's a fish too. I lost sight of that fly, holy cow. Smack it, Davey, come on now. Twitch it. You can hear Everything in me is up-tempo right now. The energy of the water, the casting, the fish. Oh, you see that? No. Jumped right over top of it. That was awesome. Really? Yeah. How big was he? Oh, and he had to be a foot. Oh, wow. That was awesome. Just hard as. Yeah, I don't think anything big's coming out of this today, but that's okay, you know? Moving eight or nine fish on dry fly in a hundred yards. Big foam stuff. That's a lot of fun. Well, it's my turn to have a go here, guys, on the old uh, beetle pattern. Dave cleaned house on that last nice long run, and I'm just going to give her a go. There's some gorgeous boulders off of this side of the bank, this cliff bank. And yeah, see what happens. Well, it's again, wherever you see a likely looking seam, you gotta put it in there, just where I am right now there. Kind of that dancey water, but that stuff that's just a little slower than the rest out there. Oh yeah, and he nails it right on. I had to be one in there right after I really gave it a good hard skitter and he came up from there. Sweet man, I like that. Not a big brownie, but hey, I'll take I'll take the action. <laughs>
Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Yep, beautiful old brown. And away he goes. <laughs> okay, so while well, I meals across the river, I I pitched my big ass thingy along the seamy, and this big ass thingy came and ate the big ass thingy, and I missed it along the seamy. So uh, I waited a couple minutes, pitched the whole thing back out there with a nymph, and ooh, big flashy thing following my flo floaty thing hanging a nymphy thing. So now uh, Amelia's come across and I'm just going to drift, believe it or not, I'm going to go opposite way. And the fish is looking up a little bit, so I'm going to go with a PMD, just a straight ahead mayfly. And if he doesn't take that, then I'll probably try a little stonefly, a little stimulator or, or an elk air caddis. And after that, well, that's when you hang the nymphy thing back on and see what happens. So we'll see. Look, it was a really nice fish. So, you know, hopefully get him up and hopefully he decides to eat the thingy. Yeah, that's a good thing. Sometimes it can help, you know? Yeah, you will see if I'm able to remember where it is, where the fish is. You know what I got my fly? There it is. <laughs> I was a little weak on that. I'm sorry to face him there. There it is. Yeah. Right on, man. No, really. Yeah, you lucky bugger. Every time I just put on a nymph. <laughs> Unreal. Yeah, for you, it's just like, you know, pop it out there and... You find value in our free sharing of knowledge and experience and want to support us? Gain access to our extended length, ad-free videos, as well as our in-depth producer's notes that turn every video into an in-depth fly fishing class. Join our Patreon group today.